below freezing every single day. We haven't gotten above 32 degrees for like a week now. The ground is solid, frozen. Uh, so we're gonna take the Titan driver and see if we can get this T-post in the ground. We'll see if it works. Got my hearing and eye protection. And uh, we're gonna put up a little duck fence for our ducks uh, because we like the duck eggs. Yeah, yeah, that'll work great. It twisted a little, but once we got through the frozen stuff, it seemed like it went right in. So lesson learned, don't use these really thin, flimsy posts. They do not hold up. You can see that right there. It curled over completely on itself and it got jammed inside the tube there on the power driver. So either we gotta go get better posts or take the chuck piece off that makes it a three inch hole rather than a four inch hole. That way in case this curls over again, we can just pull the whole thing off and cut a fresh top, not sure. So we're gonna play with that a little bit. And we'll see what happens. All right, so I went and grabbed six more of the strong T-posts. Definitely use these, not the U-shaped ones. The problem is I'm either gonna have to space the fence out further between posts, or I'm gonna have to use some of those other posts because they only had six. There's still shortage issues, and so we're seeing uh, what we can do to put these all together. So, always a fun project, never simple, right? <laughs> all right, well, just like that, got all these posts in. I've run a couple hundred posts now with this and it's worked great. Did have a hiccup using that 
really bad posts, so just don't use those. And this chuck, this three inch pipe that goes inside. This is a four inch pipe here. The three inch spacer definitely got cracked because we used that bad post. So all in all, it worked really well. For some reason it likes to turn off every now and then. You really gotta let it warm up a lot. The user manual says to let it be running for at least five minutes. This is much more powerful than the little ones that you see. You definitely get what you pay for, but we've been able to run this in frozen ground, rocky ground, everything, and it has done really, really well. So you just have to have someone who can lift it up on the post and have a ladder that helps a lot, and then someone to guide it. Having a big, like four foot level is a really big help. Overall, I love this thing. Not sponsored, I paid for this out of my own pocket. Just a really good thing to have around the homestead or the off-grid cabin, whatever it is, in order to run posts and set up perimeters. Thanks for watching, be prepared. I'll see you guys in the next video.